Hi, I'm Ian Thomas. I'm the newly appointed Chief Executive of the Royal Borough of Kingston-upon-Thames. Um, the Royal Borough, very proud that we are the first uh, Royal Borough here um, and it's a privilege to be here first and foremost. Um, I've been asked to say a few words about, about me uh, and my background. I was born to a, a family of steel workers in Sheffield. I'm from Sheffield, you might discern from my uh, accent. Um, I want to say that, that um, it was always my ambition to be a chief executive of a local authority, but it's not true. I wanted to become a professional footballer. I was uh, uh, a, a youth player for Sheffield United, which probably means I wasn't that good. Uh, but, but, but that's what I did and um, uh, I decided that, uh, well I want to say that I decided against becoming a multi-millionaire footballer and pursue a, a role in local government but I can't quite say that. Um, I sustained an injury when I was 16 and hence um, why I became a public servant. I wanted to become a public servant from the get-go. I uh, wasn't bad with numbers and became uh, an accountancy assistant with the NSPCC initially, initially before moving on to the London boroughs of Newham, Tower Hamlets and into the volunteer sector. Um, it's been an interesting journey in terms of uh, my background. I, I became an assistant director in 2003 for uh, Trafford Metropolitan Borough Council uh, where as a team we took the service from a weak rating to an excellent one. I then became the director of children's services in Derbyshire where together, again, uh, as a result of some excellent teamwork, uh, we uh, secured uh, a, a fantastic uh, Ofsted rating. And that took me to, to Rotherham, which was a very interesting um, experience. Um, but, but again, the story is about people working together as a team to pull off something that was quite remarkable. And we took the service from inadequate to um, good with outstanding features. Uh, bottom 6% to top 16%, so, you know, work uh, I'm really proud of. I'd like to thank people for the warm uh, welcome that I've received since being here. Um, it, everywhere where I've, where I've been, everyone I've spoken to have been so positive about working for this fantastic borough, um, and that ranges from the elected members all the way through to people on the front line. I'd also like to thank the people that um, were there for the peer review feedback, and we are going to be publishing that soon in, in its entirety and for those that took part in it because I think peer reviews are important. We've been having conversations recently about developing a learning organisation, you know, a learning culture where we don't blame people for things that go wrong. Um, it's, it's a culture where we um, encourage and empower people to be creative and innovative and sometimes things won't always work out uh, and, you know, in those circumstances it's important that we learn rather than blame people so I'm really big on that. Um, where I like to work, coaching, coaching and mentoring is really important to me that we work alongside people, that we encourage people and as far as leadership is concerned I think that everybody has potential to be a leader um, irrespective of what job you do for the council you all have a leadership role so I'll be talking a lot about distributed leadership uh, and what that means. In terms of our, um, our priorities going forward, I've been having lots of conversations with our leader, uh, Liz Green, Councillor Liz Green, and her portfolio holders, and taking on the feedback from the peer review, it's clear that <clears throat> we're doing so much work that we need to shout about and be really proud of. So we are going to be working with you on celebrating success. Alongside that, there's something about getting the basics right and being brilliant at the basics, so financial stewardship, um, you know, the way that we control and manage the money, um, governance, the way that we make decisions um, and to ensure that that's streamlined so that we get things done uh, relatively quickly. Um, performance management. Um, I'm, I'm hot on performance management. I'm a believer that our communities deserve the best and therefore we need to measure how well we're doing things. So we'll, we'll be doing a lot of work on that. Uh, and um, taking a cue from our leadership, our executive leadership, the administration want us to be at the fore of community engagement. And that will be about how we ensure that what we do serves our communities best, both now and in the future. And I'm keen, as we pursue that objective, that we hear and listen to as many voices as possible. Um, 
We know that there are people out here in our communities in Kingston who are well versed on our structures, who know how to engage with the council, but there are so many more that don't. And I'll be working with the administration and the team and all of you to ensure that everybody has a voice in this fantastic borough. Thinking about the, the whole recruitment process, I was particularly pleased that one of the panels was a panel of staff. Um, and, um, you know, I'd like to believe that I'm a people person, that I'm someone that you can approach um, and, and raise issues with me directly. Um, I'm not a person that hides away in the office, I do go out and about. This is a fantastic place, I'm really proud to be here. It's an honour and, and, and a privilege, and I look forward to seeing more of you throughout the coming months. So, thanks for <laughs> listening to this first and foremost, but more importantly for your dedication and the work that you do for our residents every day.